This is the only way I get them to sit still. How you doing everybody? Welcome to Garden Fork. Today, we're gonna talk about chainsaw safety and how to cut up tree limbs into logs. Exciting, huh? Exciting. Uh, if a while ago, if you remember, we, had a, we have a video up called How to Cut Down a Tree with a Chainsaw. And it's very popular, but it also gets a lot of comments about people that have very strong opinions about how to cut down a tree. Do you have strong opinions about how to cut down a tree? I try and follow the rules, basically. So I thought, I thought we'd do kind of a refresher on chainsaw safety and talk about how to cut up logs once your tree is cut down. We had a number of trees here that we cut down and we have some big limbs we gotta cut up now. So we thought we'd make a video about it. We had the professionals come in. Yeah, the professionals have to come take these trees down. They're too close to the house. A little too close to the house here. But I wanna start out with some chainsaw safety. Oh, back to you. Oh, back to me. <laughs> First off, these are chainsaw chaps. What these do is they keep the chainsaw from accidentally cutting into your leg. This is a, like a Kevlar material. It's a material I think they make bulletproof vests out of. Ooh. So, and they are chaps because they're like cowboy chaps. Uh -huh. You like this? I think the girls may have some comments. What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna stay out of that. So <laughs> anyway, these have straps. Do they come in different sizes or is it one size fits all? They do come in different sizes, depends on your uh, leg length. But you can order them online or you can go to a store and try them out. You want them to, you don't want them to come all the way down to, the, to your shoe here. No? You want them to be a little bit above. Why? I, I think you can trip on them, basically. Oh. So, steel toed shoes. So that's in case the tree falls on your foot. You know, you don't kill your foot, but seriously, very affordable. Go to your store and buy steel-toed boots. They're good for working around your house anyway. So yeah, the chainsaw falls on your foot, even worse. Yeah, but they're just good to have. The next thing is your safety helmet. This is a hard hat with a screen and ear protection all in one. And these are really nice. This flips up, you can flip it down, you're ready to go. Seriously. Because I've been, I've been, uh, I've been cutting down trees and stuff, and all of a sudden, a tree limb falls on my head, and that's before I had my helmet. But this, I really like this. It was fairly inexpensive. You can buy them at your chainsaw supply store or online. Also, am I talking really loud? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you put that on. Next, gloves. They're not orange. No, heavy duty and long sleeves, okay? Don't do this in shorts and a t-shirt. Okay, so we're ready to go. We have safety helmet, ear protection, eye protection, hand protection, long sleeves, chainsaw chaps, steel-toed boots. Next, you have your chainsaw. Don't cheap out if you're gonna buy a chainsaw. You can also rent these. You can borrow them from your neighbor. Make sure that the blade is sharp. You can either sharpen these yourself, you can buy a file that sets it at a particular angle and you can do this by hand or you can take it to your lawn and garden store and they'll sharpen the chain for you. And I'm talking really loud. <laughs> this bar is a little beat up. I should probably replace this bar, but we'll do that after we do this. Use a fairly new chainsaw, let's just say. They're older chainsaws that don't have this kickback protection. This uh, kickback brake functions because if sometimes when you're chainsawing something, the saw might jump back. It might kick back and hit something in the log. And without this automatic brake, it would come up here, the chainsaw could be running and it could cut my face. With this, your wrist gets in the way and it shuts off the blade. It's basically a clutch or a brake. Very safety conscious, this is what you need. So if it's an older saw and it doesn't have this, you shouldn't be using it, okay? Here's one of the logs we want to cut up. There's a number of ways to do this. I really like using this thing. This is called a timber jack. You can buy these online or at some of the bigger garden supply stores. The beauty of this is that we can hook it in here. You set this arm in here. Oh, wow, that's heavy. <laughs> it's a tree. Yeah. That's why you don't want it falling on your house. Wow. 
What's under there? And now you've elevated your limb so you can cut it. You don't want your chainsaw going into the dirt, okay? Oh, okay. That's a bad thing. It dulls the blade. It messes up the bar. It's just a bad thing. So the whole idea here is to elevate the tree limbs we're gonna cut. A couple things about your saw. Make sure it's full of the right mixture of two-cycle oil with gasoline. Top up your oil here. This is the uh, chain lubrication for your chain here. If you run out of oil, chain oil, don't use motor oil or something. Go buy chain oil. It's a very specific oil for chainsaw chains, really? okay? And when you start a chainsaw, always start it on the ground. Don't try and do this drop-pull thing that people do, okay? Okay. A couple of things here. When you're cutting, you always want to walk as close to the motor as your chainsaw as possible. Don't saw back and forth. There you go. That's it. That's one way to do it. But you notice, I just let the weight of the saw, I move it back and forth a little bit. There's some teeth here on this side. Let's see. There's some teeth here on oh, this yeah. side. Yeah. And that engages with the log. Engages with the so log. as you move down. Yeah. You want me to do that again? It's kind of fun. I'm sure you're going to. Okay. good place to cut is, what width you want for your fireplace. Like this kind of thing where there's a limb coming up the side, you don't want to cut right through it. Huh? The dog came out of the house. Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> if you don't have a timber jack, there's another way to cut logs without getting the chainsaw bar in the dirt. So I'm going to show you that right now, okay? you don't go all the way through. Right, we cut about two thirds of the way through. Whenever you put your saw down, you turn it off. This is if you don't have a, a lumberjack. A timberjack, yep. Yeah.
I think people like the other one because a tree actually fell. Yeah, well, we're gonna cut down some trees actually. These uh, two pines over here, they're coming down at least. Right now? I could drop a tree for her if you want. Make the ratings go up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.